Good morning to everyone out there. It's been a little while since my last video update on YouTube and we just have been trying a couple of other things on other social media platforms, namely Instagram, sometimes a little bit of Snapchat, but essentially I wanted to talk a little bit about mindset and what we had been doing on these other platforms was a, a gratitude challenge that my brother put me up to and a few other people in our little motivation group that we have going. So the challenge was a 30 day gratitude challenge where essentially every morning or every day or every evening, doesn't matter when, but you just upload three things you, that you're grateful for. And, and we're a week into it now and I'm seeing the benefits of doing this. So every single day, you can get ticked off by little things that may begin to aggravate you or, or just, just scenarios that don't go your way or whatever it is. And we tend as people to sort of get into a, a, a little bit of a mindset of, you know, th you know, why always me or something isn't going my way or there's just always things to complain about. And it can be a bit fluffy to just think, oh, I'm just going to be positive all the time and just think of things to be grateful for. But there's a, there's a rhyme to the reason of doing this. And, and it's more than just fluff. If you practice this by just being grateful and finding things to be grateful for, you know, you can think of things off, off, you know, off the bat, maybe 10 things you might be grateful for in your life. But as we've gotten through this process and we're into sort of day eight now, you're starting to have to, you know, think of other things outside of the normal box of things that you're are already grateful for in your life. So you start to come up with different little things that, that you could be grateful for that you haven't really thought about. And just by doing this, you start to um, have a, a greater sense of appreciation for the little things that are, that are in your life. The other thing to note, I have heard this said before by a mentor of, of mine and Dan's that um, the, the hormone DHEA um, that is one of the building blocks of, of our system and it is responsible for a lot of our adrenals and, and you know, our, our, our sexual glands and reproduction and all this sort of stuff. The emotion of gratitude, just by practicing it, releases that hormone into our system. So just alone, biologically, that is, that's a, a reason to do this. But I've noticed myself just simply by practicing this every single day that you, you do get this really fantastic sense of gratitude and appreciation and you just feel great about your life in general. And and yesterday my partner Frida and I were driving to the to the markets to pick up our weekly grocery shop and and I just had this feeling beating out of my chest that I was just freaking ecstatic about you know, life and things that were happening and, and and just kind of felt like, you know, no matter what happens in our life, and we've been through some very tough trials and tribulations that, um, you know, there's always things to be grateful for and there's so much to look forward to and, and that feeling was just, I, I just wish I could bottle it up and then just say, guys, here, try this. It just feels so fantastic please give it a go. So I encourage you to get on board if you want to join us. Um, we do have a Facebook group called Filthy Habits and and it's about creating habits. It's about motivating each other. Um, if you want to join into our group, find the page on Facebook, Filthy Habits. When I see you like the page, you can join the group and then we'll welcome you. And yeah, otherwise, you know, you might see us do this 30 day gratitude challenge on Instagram or whatever. And let's all, yeah, have a, a fantastic, grateful day. Wow, that's a five minute video. So a bit of a ramble. I might have to do a part two because there's something else I really wanted to talk about. So thanks for listening and we'll speak soon.